Remember, the YouTube ads feed the ducks. Well, hello everybody. I'm going to do a little different video than I normally do on the duck adventure. Is uh, I'm going to show you how I butcher a Muscovy duck. Uh, because they're so big, uh, cooking it, uh, a duck this size, like this one's 8.6 pounds, to cook a duck this size for two people, uh, I, one, I don't like leftover duck because the, uh, you know, the, the bird is so lean that, uh, you know, when you reheat it the next day, the, the meat goes like leather. Sucks. So I'm going to do a quick video here of uh, how I butcher it and the tools that I use, which I have my, uh, my trusty knives, my razor sharp dangerous knives actually. I've got my uh, cheap, uh, it's about a $20 cleaver. I've already bent it. It's just for the, uh, the splitting of the, uh, the back. Uh, which I'll show you, and it's just a standard rubber automotive mallet, uh, you know, nine dollars, no big deal, uh, that we bought specifically for the kitchen. It's not the one from the garage. The one from the garage is pretty disgusting. So I'm going to set the camera up here. I'm going to uh, try with pivot heads, but because I'm blind, I need glasses. I'm, I've done this enough times that I, I should be able to do it without glasses, uh, so I can give you some shot of what it looks like exactly, how I'm cutting it, and what I do. But I might not be able to. I don't know yet. We'll see how it goes. I'm not a big fan of cutting my fingers off. Uh, so we're gonna, I'm going to wing it and see how it goes here. I might end up you know, not being able to get you any pivot head footage of uh, you know, me cutting it uh, because I need my glasses. So well, let me get set up here and I'll show you how uh, I butcher a Muscovy duck so that we can get multiple meals out of it. I'm going to give it a wing here with the pivot heads. I, I think I might be able to pull up. I got the glasses here just in case I have to. Uh, but I'm pretty sure I can do this without uh, my glasses. I've done it enough times. So we're going to do uh, the butcher here and I'll show you exactly uh, how it's done. I am going to bring the camera in closer so that you can get a better view. But I uh, you know, I just want to show you. I got the duck out now here uh, sitting on the, the uh, cutting board. I've got the bag uh, here which I'm going to throw the parts back into. Now the, the thing about butchering a, a duck is what I found is that it, it's much better if it's, if it's warmer. Um, if it's right out of the fridge and it's ice cold, very hard to, uh, you know, to, to butcher. It's very stiff. Uh, it's like any animal. If it's warm, uh, it's much easier to butcher up and, and you know, fill off the, the bone. Uh, you know, filling a, a cold uh, animal, uh, it, it, the meat is it's stick, it's, it's stuck too hard. It's too, it doesn't manipulate very well. You can't uh, bend it. Uh, it's, I've just learned it's better if it's warm. So I've had this warming up all day on the counter. It's been sitting out here since 8 o'clock this morning. I thawed it out yesterday uh, and put it back in the fridge. So it's still cold to the touch. But it is now warm enough that I can manipulate it, uh, you know, so that I can do this filming and, and show you how I butcher it and, you know, the process is done. So let's get on it here and I'll get the camera set up and we'll get at it. Alright, the first thing that I do is I take the, the wings off. Uh, get them out of the way and I find the easiest if you just do a little cut, pull the, the wing away like that and you'll just give it a little bit of a pull and then you just cut as close as you can to the bone because the thing is is with the wing here it's so close to the um, the breast you don't want to start nicking into the breast meat so because the breasts uh, on a Muscovy make really 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 nice now I'm having a hard time here because I'm you know using the pivot heads uh, and I am uh, sort of I, I am sort of doing this in Braille actually um, there now once you hear that tendon ligament break now this knife that I'm using is is actually not meant for this job, but it works great. Now there's that's a nice wing. Like look at that, that's a serious uh, like that's a wing and a half. Actually that right there uh, for Cindy is a meal. Uh, that's all she ever eats when I uh, I have the leg and uh, the leg and back, and she'll have uh, one single wing. So now we'll uh, cut this one, get it cut. Now the uh, now because these birds you know, are free range birds, they uh, they've got some serious you know ligaments and and, and strength. They're not uh, you know like a caged up bird, which is you know very like very uh, uh, you know tender and uh, you know has no ligament strength. But if you look at that, like that's a serious wing. And like I said, that right there, believe it or not, that's that weighs uh, yeah probably pushing about three quarters of a pound, half a pound wing right there. So now I've got the wings cut off. Um, I flip the bird over and I basically I just take and I cut down like there and I get inside the leg and I cut down this side 
And you want to get right in between the leg and the rib cage. And I find this little knife works the best because one, it, it's unbelievably razor sharp. It's almost like a surgical uh, piece of equipment. And then you just do this. Just snap the back. And that's all it is. Just a simple snap. And I take and I cut the back side. Give it a twist to break the spine off. Sometimes I have to give it a little extra cut. Now, now this is where the uh, mallet comes. Oh, and there's the phone. Someone's calling me, but we're just going to let that ring because I really don't care about it right now. So, you take the uh, cleaver and we this is the one time I, I wish I, I turned off all the fans in the house <laughs> and then we got the phone ringing in the background so I'm the only one home now that's uh, how easy it splits apart now this right here is a complete meal for me that's a nice sized back and leg uh, you can barbecue this, uh, you can put it in the uh, convection oven and uh, do it that way. It, uh, there's many different ways of doing it, but that right there is two meals, one each for myself. Now, we've got the, uh, the, the, the main part of the carcass left. Now, what we're going to do here is we've got the breast. And this right here is one giant steak on each side of this bird. So what we do is we take this knife and we get right down on the middle of the breastbone. Go like this, right down the center. Now, once I've done this, I cut on this side. Because I like uh, following the rib cage. Now, this is where I really should have my glasses, uh, so that I'd follow the the uh, the rib cage along. But if you look how easy this meat comes off this uh, rib cage here and I really should have my glasses on Sorry. But it's actually not too bad here look at that that's a serious serious chunk of meat it's always a trick you know you're cutting around the uh, the wishbone here Look at that, that's a serious chunk of uh, duck breast. Now with this duck breast here, what I'll do is there's always a little bit of, uh, of uh, tough skin right on the edge and the, uh, the tip like here, but that's all we cut off on this. We don't take any more off. That right there is it. Now this here, this breast, believe it or not, weighs about a pound and a quarter, pound and a half. Uh, if you look at the thickness of that. Now this is way too big to cook this way. I find with these, the best thing to do is actually to butterfly them uh, to get them thinner because I, this thick it's, it's too, one thing about duck meat is when you cook it it contracts if I cook this uh, just the way it is which you know on a frying pan you know seven minutes eight minutes down on a you know on a, on a, on a very very high heat skin side down first flip it over you know four or five minutes on the other side what happens is it contracts to the point that this thing would end up being about three inches thick uh, it would just be a big blob like that is what would happen to it so if you if you butterfly it and make it into a thinner piece of meat it um, you know you get a much nicer steak but that's one uh, breast right there and we'll do this side now that I've got, now like I said, I always I like following the rib cage down. I find it's a, a much easier way of, you know, deboning a bird. We got the computer noises in the background. And <laughs> you can tell this is not a, a, a sound studio. Um, and always with a knife, uh, you know, when you got a sharp knife like this, well, one thing is a sharp knife is actually less chance of cutting yourself. It's the dull knives that you end up cutting yourself. Uh, sharp knives, uh, you don't, uh, unless you make a mistake and cut towards yourself. Always try to cut away from yourself. Now there we go. 
We got another big duck steak. Uh, this is a massive duck steak, so we'll just cut off that big chunk of skin on the side. And I'll cut off this, and that's all you clean off. And there you go, another giant duck steak. And like I said, these, this is a serious, serious steak. This right here is enough meat actually for three people right here. Another thing uh, that we've done uh, with this meat is we've also made uh, chicken Kiev, which is duck Kiev because we're using duck meat. And we've made duck uh, corno bleu is another one we've done with this. And we just treat it exactly like chicken, no different whatsoever. And except the fact is you don't have to cook duck meat all the way. You can actually eat this medium rare. Uh, because it doesn't, it doesn't have the, uh, the salmonella because it's waterfowl. So when you're eating it, you don't have to well cook it. Uh, you know, like a lot of people cook the crap out of stuff, specifically chicken, uh, because you have to. This, you don't have to. So that, that's a serious chunk of meat. But honestly, that weighs about a pound and a half of uh, pure meat. It's a serious duck steak. So, so that's it. And all you've got left now is this. Uh, the carcass which there's next to nothing left on this carcass now what I'll do is I'll cut the neck out of it and we freeze the necks because I've got a, a big bag of uh, parts that I'm freezing because one day I'm gonna have a dog again and uh, I'm not gonna waste all this because it's really good meat and the dog's gonna get it so that's uh, how I uh, butcher a Muscovy uh, that is too big to cook you know for ourselves uh, for two people uh, this way I can get uh, multiple meals out of it uh, like an example I can get uh, the just in duck steaks alone uh, there's uh, uh, you know uh, four meals, uh, the backs and legs. There's another two more meals, and then the wings uh, are another two more meals. So we turn a, a one single duck, uh, you know, into eight meals, uh, you know, for Cindy and I. So that's how I do it.